Welcome to GoodBit. I'm Lucas, and today we're jumping in with Bitcoin 101. In this video, we're gonna discuss what Bitcoin is, why it's so revolutionary, a bit about how it works, and how you can use it. Ever since the internet was invented, people have tried to create a digital money, but they had little success. That's because digital files are easy to copy and paste. And if you could just copy and paste money, it wouldn't be worth anything at all. This double spending problem stumped computer scientists for decades, but everything changed with the invention of Bitcoin in 2009. Put simply, Bitcoin is digital money that you can't just copy and paste. It was made by an anonymous person, or maybe even a group of people, using the pen name Satoshi Nakamoto. And we actually don't know who Satoshi is, but that's okay, because important point, there is no CEO of Bitcoin. It's not run by a corporation or any one group of people. Instead, it's run by a collection of people all over the world, working as a community. You could say it's run by the people, for the people. Inside the peep. It's run by the people, for the people. Near the, near the peep. Dude, it's run. So what makes Bitcoin so useful? We already have credit cards and you probably use Venmo. So what's new about this? It turns out quite a few things. First, it's scarce. There are only 21 million Bitcoins that will ever exist, giving them durable value. Second, Bitcoin is a truly global monetary system. What does that mean? Well, sending Bitcoins to your next door neighbor is just as easy as sending Bitcoins to your aunt in New Zealand or even to an astronaut in the International Space Station. If you have an internet connection, you can use Bitcoin, regardless of international borders. Third, it's cheap to use. Bitcoin transactions cost only a few cents, no matter how much you're sending. You may not know it, but credit card companies charge up to 3% for every transaction. Fourth, it's fast. Bitcoin transactions take about 10 minutes to process, no matter where you're sending your money, making them quicker than any kind of bank or wire transfer. Fifth, Bitcoin is peer to peer, meaning transactions don't pass through any kind of third party like a bank. Instead, transactions go directly between people. Finally, it's safe. Cutting edge cryptography shields Bitcoin transactions from any tampering. Kind of sounds like wacky magic internet money, right? Not so fast. Bitcoin is built upon a trifecta of high level mathematics, cryptography, and computer science. Let's check it out. For any financial system to work, we need to keep track of transactions and account balances. These are recorded in something called a ledger. Today, banks and companies like PayPal keep private internal ledgers detailing the account holdings of each customer. Important point, Bitcoin's ledger is the exact opposite. Instead of having one top secret copy that only a few executives can see, the Bitcoin ledger is maintained by people all over the world who use their own computers to check it for fraudulent activity. These people are called miners, or alternatively, sages of the night owl labyrinth. Dude, literally no one calls them that. Anyway, the concept of miners and the public ledger might sound weird. You obviously don't want a bunch of random strangers looking at your account balance or what you choose to spend your money on. So how do we let all these strangers monitor thousands of transactions without the risk of losing your privacy? Good question. In order to keep your information private, no names are used. Instead, your account is identified only by a long, random string of numbers and letters. There's a lot of complex, sciencey stuff going on under the hood. But actually using Bitcoin is really easy. There are tools and apps that help you buy, store, and send Bitcoins even from your phone. You can learn more about those at GoodBit. We're rapidly approaching a time where you can buy just about anything using Bitcoin. You can buy houses, cars, and everything on Amazon. You could even buy this llama. Seriously, go to buythislama.com for more information. I know I threw a lot, so I know I threw a lot at you, so let's recap. Important point, Bitcoin is entirely digital, globally accessible, limited in supply, 
safe to use, and finally, peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning not controlled by any bank or government. Seems pretty sweet, but I'd like to point out that Bitcoin is still not perfect. There are still many barriers to overcome before Bitcoin becomes a seamless global payment system. For example, it still can't quite match the transaction speeds of credit cards. But to bridge this gap, developers are working on the code every day to make Bitcoin even better. Actually, the fact that Bitcoin is still evolving is part of the reason why it's so exciting and why the Bitcoin community is growing so rapidly. Bitcoin has already inspired the creation of thousands of other digital currencies known as cryptocurrencies or cryptos that can be used for a wide variety of applications. Many focus on particular features like transaction speed or privacy protection. And the technology that underlies it all, blockchain, is being explored for a ton of other applications. You'll learn about that in the next video. Before moving on, take the quiz below to test out your Bitcoin knowledge. And then move on to the next lesson, Blockchain 101. We'll see you there.